on. What's up, everyone? I made sure this time I have the <laughs> the microphone on. I was, once again, the old guy looking around last week with my microphone off for the first minute. And somebody said, why don't you edit it out? And I said, because it takes out the, uh, the entire chat when you do that. Uh, so, what is Van Halen? I, I, the first comment, Hawaii 50 says Panama. What is Van Halen's greatest song? So, most of the time when I do these things, I'll make up my own list of things. But I thought, I'm going to call all my Van Halen friends. Okay, which are a lot of Van Halen. I have a lot of Van Halen friends. But, but here's the funny thing is that when you call them, they they will mention every obscure song and they don't, you know, it, it's it's hard to get a, get an answer from them. So I called, I called or texted Phil X. Okay, you guys know Phil knows his Van Halen. My brother John who's a Van Halen expert. Dweezil Zappa who's obviously a Van Halen expert. Uh, Dean DeLeo from STP, uh, my buddy Les Hall, who you've seen on my channel many times, my friend Dave Rolf, who is one of the biggest Van Halen fans ever, uh, Billy, my buddy Mike Loy. I mean, we I went through and I asked all these all these Van Halen heads, and I came up with. I got like 16 songs on here. This is how amazing Van Halen is that it's that I have 16 songs on my list. But of course, I'm going to pick what my favorite is, but we're going to talk about about these different ones. Um, uh, before I start, though, um, I took away the bundle this week and I had a lot of people reach out to me saying, please put the bundle up. We didn't get it. I'm putting it up this weekend again. And people are asking me about uh, a gift card. Uh, that'll be, it's not activated uh, on the, the website. Is that right, Billy? But it will be yeah. gift card thing. It'll be, give, give us till next week. Aaron's working on that. Uh, but uh, the Beato bundle is my ear training course, my uh, Beato book interactive and my quick lessons pro guitar course, all for 99 bucks total. That's a savings of 107 178 bucks. That's really 99 bucks is really what my Beato book costs or ear training course. So it's it's a no-brainer deal. I run it through the weekend one more time. But just to tell you, I've got something new coming out in a couple weeks. I'm not gonna say what it is. Uh, but that's why uh, that's why I've been running the uh, running the sale here. So but it's not related to this really. It's something total uh, something completely brand new. Okay. So, so I'm not sure. So, so I want to say what my friend Dave said, this is my buddy, Dave Rolf, one, one of my oldest friends and biggest Van Halen fans. And Dave said to quote, I put it in the, in the description, he said, this is just a fool's errand. This is, this short list is thoughtless and more reflex than anything in no particular order. Okay. And then he put down five songs, which is, I thought when he said, this is a fool's errand, I was like, it is. Uh, okay. So this is one of the ones that Dave, this is funny. It's like the, the, the hardcore Van Halen, uh, fans pick obscure songs, maybe not necessarily totally obscure songs, but here's one. of. Let me give you one of Dave's, uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, here's one of Dave's here. Okay. Okay, when people talk about Eddie being a ridiculous rhythm player, that's pretty much what they're talking about, right? That's I'm the one. That's off the first record. It's a shame to me. Honey, I'm the one, the one you love. Come on, baby, show you love. Hi, give it to me. I see a girl that fills this room. <laughs> 
Now, don't forget, this is like the first time that we're hearing Van Halen. This is my first experiences on this first record, right? But the first song I heard when my old high school buddy, Matt Bosch, brought over the uh, his Van Halen 1 record, he's like, you got to hear this. And I listened to it in my buddy Pete Kerr's dad's church, believe it or not, where we had this massive stereo uh, set up that, that was Matt's stereo. That was the loudest thing you could ever imagine. And he put the thing on and the, and the record goes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you heard this. Where is it? Is it even on here or this? And I said, what's that? Well, obviously you know what it is, right? And that's a, a car horns, I guess. A car horn. Is that right, Billy? And. Okay, so Running With The Devil is got one of the greatest guitar tones ever. Probably of, of a beginning song for a band on their debut record to start out with that, right? That sound is unbelievable. When I heard that, I thought, wow, what is that? I mean, that's unbelievable. Now, I've done a breakdown of this song on my What Makes This Song Great, for those of you that know that series. I haven't done one of those in a long time, but I believe one of my videos was Running With The Devil, I think. Um, and one of the things that's amazing about this, just just as a, as a playing part of it, is the working of the volume knob. Turning it down, because the cleaner sounds like that. And then when he rolls into the chorus, I mean, that's... This unbelievable tone. Yes, I'm living at a place that kills. Ooh, yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, that's that is uh that's ridiculous. Okay, so um now I'm not I'm trying to think of who said what on these here. This is another uh this is this is a Dave Honorado pick. You guys know Dave, who's been on my channel many times. He's a killer guitar player. This is off of um, this is off 1984. Okay, so one of the reasons I think that that Dave picks this, Dave, the, uh, the the groove. First of all, the riff is amazing, and the groove is great. This happens to have a uh, really great solo in it. Can you find it? I can't, that's got to be improvised, right? Has to be. Um, that that particular solo was, uh, I don't know if I was going to use that or if I did use it. I can't remember some of the things that I picked for some of my uh, 
strangest guitar solos of all time. I don't know if Drop Dead Legs was on that, but that was definitely in the consideration of it. That's kind of one of his Holdsworth-ish. He has some kind of Holdsworth-ish licks on there, right? Um, okay, so this is another one of my buddies. So that was Dave Honorado is, is a huge fan of Drop Dead Legs. To me, that's not their greatest song. This is another one of my buddy Dave Rolf. This has a killer intro. This is Top Jimmy. That's off the same record. records are so forget i mean the writing is unbelievable but the sounds the playing my god listen to that i always love that That is such a killer, uh, the the harmonic part, but all the little sus, sus chords and everything, the way it keeps changing keys there, unbelievable. Love that. Great choice on that, Dave. You know, um, uh, so my friend Les, Les Hall, who you guys have seen on, on he, Les has probably been in more videos that have millions of views than anyone on my channel. He was in my top 20 bass intros, my top 20 maybe electric guitar intros, my top 20, he's been in a lot of my top 20 videos. They have millions and millions of views. And so Les immediately says, well, pretty much everything off fair warning, okay? And um, and we're, we talked about this. This is Dirty Movies, which, he said to me, we should have used this in our top 20 drum intros video. I love the, the pre-delay on the snare reverb. I just love that. Okay, so so that's a minute and eight second intro. Okay, this is like something just you'd never see again. This unbelievable how great that is, right? Now that's not Van Halen's best song, but that is an amazingly great intro. And then. Okay, so another one, this is interesting. So both my brother and Dweezil Zappa said this one is up there. The, uh, Dweezil gave me two songs, and this is one of the two, and it's my brother John too. Come on! 
Okay, we just got to hear that again. Come on, right? That's this is insane. Listen to tone. Okay, so, all right, not to just be in the David Lee Roth era, um, I said to my brother John, we have more songs to go over, but I said, okay, give me a, give me a, a Van Hagar song. And this is what my brother John picked. And I think it's a great pick. Um, here it is. Where is it? Yeah. This is, um, this record, this is Pound Cake. I want you to listen to something. Okay, so this, I believe... The Carnal Knowledge uh, record was produced by Andy Johns. I'm pretty sure. Billy, can you look that up or not? I'm pretty sure Andy Johns produced it. Now, Andy Johns... Uh, Gl- okay, so Glenn Johns... Glenn, Glenn Johns uh, engineered the first Van, uh, first Led Zeppelin record. Okay, so that's the... Se- think of the sound of, of Van Halen... Or Van Halen of Zeppelin 1. Andy Johns did Zeppelin 4. Okay, he engineered and mixed it. Okay, you hear the big drum sounds like that? I mean, Andy Johns did many other huge records, some of my favorite records. Okay, so Andy Johns produced this record. And the, okay, now now let me play it again and think of Van, ha- why do you keep saying Van Halen when I mean Led, Ze- Led Zeppelin? Think of Led Zeppelin when you're hearing the drums, listen to the drums. A totally different drum sound for the band. Listen. Let me go, let me just go back a little bit when the drums come in. Listen. You check the kick drum out. The kick drum is a very John Bonham, huge kick drum room sound, right? Listen to it again, the the bass drum. And listen to the snare, right? It's a roomy sound, reminiscent of Zeppelin. Listen. Now, okay, let me skip a little bit. Big fan of Pound Cake myself. And come on, Sammy is amazing. I mean, I need to really spend time on Van Halen with Sammy. 
There are some amazing songs, but this record was really um, uh, a departure. The The sound of this record to me is, is spectacular. If, uh, okay, the chorus guitar was kind of something of the, that time period, all right? I'm, you know, for me, um, I'm, I'm just used to this, but if we had the earlier Van Halen guitar sound with this drum sound, to me, to me, the chorus just takes a little bit of the edge off. This is just my personal thing. Yet, when I listen to it, I don't think of that. But if I were to, if you were to push me on it and say, okay, you know, um, and that's the thing that chorus does. Chorus on a guitar takes the edge off it. And I want to hear those power. I want to hear the sound of, you know, fair warning. I want to hear the sound of Van Halen one. I want to hear that, that the, the bite of the guitar, you know, and by now we're doing guitar doubles and we've got chorus and things like that. Right. So, it was it was of the time though the mid '80s sound the chorus was kind of a thing and and Eddie was just going with that drum sound though amazing if you compare that drum sound to um uh geez what's one of the other ones that I played oh oh if you just go to um I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> That's not really good. What's one one of the other ones that I played earlier? Maybe it was uh, "Push Comes a Shove," or I can't I can't remember. One of the earlier ones. They they don't have that huge room drum sound, which I think works great with Van Halen. Okay, so I've got some super chats that I that I missed here. I apologize, Tom. Thank you, uh, Guido Day. Uh, too many to list. A little out of left field, women in love, intro, clean guitar, semi dirt full on, plus the harmonies. Uh, let's see. Can I see all the top chats here, Billy? How do I do this? Because I know there's more here that I that I missed. And uh, STFU, uh, let's see. Best Sammy song, Van Hagar was Eagles Fly. Um, uh, why am I not seeing all these? Why does it not go back that far? Um, I don't know why. I'm not sure why I can't go back. For those of you that sent super chats, I'm I'm sorry about that. That I missed those here. It's hard to kind of go between the two screens here. Um, but Alex's snare sound is amazing. E either way, okay. All right, let's let's talk about about some other uh, some other songs. So um, this is a killer drum sound. And this is my dear friend, Dean DeLeo from STP, who I'm gonna have on the channel, he and his brother. This is one of his choices. I mean, you really could pick any song off the first record. And honestly, one of the best choruses ever. Okay, you know, my I, once again, I say this when I do my countdown lists. I just did a top 20 one hit wonders of the 70s video that got blocked in Canada, by the way. I hope it gets unblocked, but... I did that, and if you're in Canada and didn't see it, use a VPN or whatever it's called to watch it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I always say in the top five, the, you know, any of the songs could be number one. With Van Halen, pretty much any of these songs would be number one. So, you know, anything off this first record is really, you know, the, the, the singles that were on there, like this one here. I, I don't even know if I played this. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, my friend Mike Loy. This 
said, ain't talking about love. Now this has one of the finest solos too. Doubled. Then one of my favorite 70s lick, right here. Um, you know, that's the Van Halen sound right there. Un unreal. Okay, so, um, oh, I'm going to say it one more time here. This is my ad, since I don't do ads on my channel here, even though this video is going to get demonetized. Um, uh, my Beato book, my entire Ultimate Bundle, I put back on sale after I took it off from being on sale for a week. It's back on sale for this weekend because a lot of people wrote to me and complained they were going to buy it. So, uh, 99 bucks for my ear training course, my Beato book and my quick lessons pro guitar course. It's $178 savings. I mean, I'm, I have an announcement coming out in a, about 10 days or so. There's something new coming out. So this may be one of the last times. This is probably one of the last times to be able to get this over this weekend. If you're thinking about it, uh, um, and you want to improve your ear, be able to figure out these songs, learn music theory, and learn guitar, it's the time to do it. That's my pitch. Uh, that also is how I essentially fund my channel. You know, pay for Billy, go out and do these interviews that I've been doing with people. If you haven't seen my Thomas Newman interview, you should definitely check that out. That's unbelievable. It's one of my favorite ones I've done. But all these interviews I've done, from, you know, John Schofield and Pat Matheny and Sting and Brian May and all the people, all the videos that, that, that I, all the things I've traveled, Victor Wooten and, and uh, Bernard, uh, Bernard Purdy and, you know, just so, so all these interviews, this is how I, how I pay for stuff. Honestly, that's how I fund the channel. So, because my videos like this one are demonetized. Uh, and by the way, if in the comments section, you see a comment about some giveaway or something and it says, go to Telegram, that's a spam bot and please don't write me. I get all these emails and my response is always, it's a bot, please ignore thanks. Or it's a scam, please ignore thanks. I've had at least 10 people that have spent around a hundred bucks or maybe to $120 where they say that they're going to send them a guitar or something. They have to send shipping. These people are sophisticated. Actually, they get on these things and they, they're on every channel. They're not just on my channel. They're on every YouTube channel and they're finally getting, a, getting a handle on this, but I can't go to the comments of every channel. Cause it's like you go through and you delete these bots because people write me, I delete them out of the comments section and then Two hours later, there's a whole nother batch of them, and I just don't have time to do that. So just remember that, okay? Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna get to what I think. Um, there's, there's, there's a couple different songs here. This is another one. Like uh, a lot of people said Hot for Teacher. Billy said Hot for Teacher. Um, I said Panama. Well, I was gonna play Panama. <laughs> this is my next song. You know, I mean, man, seriously, it's, I, I'm a decent guitar player, right? I've worked in the studio for 25 years. I've had guitar players come in here. Some great guitar players come in here. And I know some of the best guitarists in the world that are my 
great friends, dear friends, right, that you've seen on my channel. I've had the best guitar players in the world on my channel. I have. But when I hear that, I think, wow. Man. It's just so... Every part of it. What do you What do you want? The sound? The feel? The part? The precision? The groove? I mean, everything about it. And then, you know, the, and it's a phenomenal song. build up to the chorus. He doesn't need anything. It doesn't need any overdubs. Doesn't need anything to announce the chorus. He does it himself through the performance. And I can't divorce my 25 years of music production from the this perfect performance which I've you know th when I see someone do this, you know, I've some of my best friends are the, you know, best session guitar players, Tim Pierce, Phil X, pros, right? And 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 they're used to doing pro performances, right? And they come up with the stuff on their own and everything. And and I didn't I wasn't lucky enough. I work with some great bands, with some great players and everything, but but you know, but when when you see when you see an Eddie Van Halen or a Tim or a Phil or you know or Dweezil or Dean DeLeo these pros I didn't get to work with people like that I just didn't you know and uh, uh, but when I hear this this is just there's a reason that people have been talking about Van Halen for forty years I mean how many years 35, 40, 40 years forty five years I don't even know nineteen seventy eight. Um, and it's just uh, really just uh, mind-boggling when I hear that. And David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar are absolutely phenomenal singers. They really are. Both of them. Phenomenal singers. Sammy is a, a technically great singer as well. Dave is a vibe singer, but Dave is a great singer. Those early records, when you solo the voice, it is incredible. It really is. You know, Sammy, his range, his tone, unbelievable. Love Sammy. And I'm sorry that I always push things. I always talk about early Van Halen. I will do a Van, ha Van Hagar stream or a video or a couple videos about the Sammy, the later Van Halen era, because I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that everything that happened with Van Halen was early Van Halen. Okay. Um, okay, but I'm going to get to my favorite Van Halen song right now that I think is the best Van Halen song. And this is also that uh, Phil X and Weasel, the first thing that they said, and the first one I thought of, and Billy said so too. And this is it. And it's on... Oh, man. This is not fair warning. Unchained, in case you don't know that. I love how the time 
turns around there. Amazing. Come on. It's ridiculous. I, you know, if you were to say, uh, uh, the, 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 so, so, so that the, the flanger, right. That happens here when he turns it on and off and everything, you could say, Oh, the guitar goes sharp here in the beginning. That to me is amazing. He's hitting it. He's just killing it. Right. And the guitar goes a little bit sharp, the low string. It's so good. Then it's in. And then the, the flanger. All right. And then Alex, Michael, the groove. Listen to the snare. The snare, this, we don't even, we're not even to the vocals or anything, right? As a killer melody, killer harmonies and chorus. But when Alex comes in, the, the, the time between the Van Halen brothers is so good. The snare is behind the beat. Listen to that. All right. Then. Dave, wow. Great vocal phrasing. That the pedal tone too in the bass. This is really why ACDC was so great is all the pedal tones. When I say pedal tone, the pedal just pedaling off the low string while the chords are changing and it creates this, this beautiful intensity to it, right? And then it just moves when it needs to move. But, but the pedal tones like that give it so much weight. And it has so much power, but the way that the time kind of turns around before the chorus and the chorus comes in with the upbeat feel, um, I call it like a, like a um, almost like a, uh, the, the rhythm of it is like a uh, rhythmic dissonance that happens, rhythmic distortion that happens before the chorus that it starts turning around and around. And then you hit the chorus and it just is so together there and it's just so grooving. Man, unbelievable. It just, it kills. And I just love that he, just the first couple of times, he's digging in so hard that the string goes a little sharp on it. But then he comes back and it's in control. And, and he's just so in control of the tone of everything. Beautiful hook. Got the Van Halen harmonies. Everything about that song is just incredibly great. All the other songs that we played, phenomenal. Phenomenal songs. Um, any of them could be the greatest Van Halen song ever. It's funny because everyone laughed when I called all my buddies. They laughed because, as my buddy Dave said, it's a fool's errand to try and pick the greatest Van Halen song. And I thought, that is so right on. All right, so that's my show for today, everybody. Uh, go to um, check out the the Ultimate Bundle, Beato Bundle, the, my ear training course, my uh, Beato book, um, interactive, and the um, uh, my Beato uh, Quick Lessons Pro course, all bundled together for ninety nine bucks. That's how I support the channel. That's what'll make you a better musician. 
and uh, it's $178 savings. Thank you guys for watching. This has been one of my most fun streams I've done. So uh, uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you guys. Bye.